I'm Ed Burgess from Burgess Architects. We're looking after the, all of the um, repair maintenance work at Bell House as well as some exciting new projects. When the charity took on the building, all of the heating was provided by some rather ancient boilers that had been installed in the 1970s. And so we were looking at ways to, to generate the heat and hot water that's needed in the house in a cleaner and um, less energy intensive way. So the main component of that is to provide a new ground source heat pump installation. My name's Dan Large, I'm the director of Solaris Energy. We're a heat pump specialist company. We've installed the ground source heat pump at Bell House. It's got 10 boreholes at 175 metres deep. That's extracting energy out of the ground and is producing heating and hot water to the house. The difference between um, this traditional heating system of using fossil fuels is uh, it's combustion, you're burning fuels to produce heat. Uh, with heat pump, you're moving energy from one place to another. We will be reducing the carbon cost of that heating, that energy, by nearly 70%. My name is Bean Beanland. I have a, I've been involved in the ground source or heat pump industry indeed um, since 2008. Deploying heat pumps is so carbon beneficial. So in the urban environment, 25% of air pollution problems are caused by burning gas for heat. Clearly drilling boreholes in the in the garden was going to make a bit of a mess. My name's Paul, um, I work for a company called City of Boreholes and Systems. We're drilling 10 boreholes um, down to 75 metres. We'll do that and then we'll trench out, we'll um, attach them all together to a manifold um, and then into the building to provide heat. We had the unexploded ordnance issue at, at Bell House because we knew there had been a strike. There was a record of a strike during the Second World War in the front garden, no less. So, uh, and we had to have um, somebody on site while we were drilling. And for the first 10 metres or so of each borehole, we had to drill a metre or two, withdraw the drill, put in a test rig, check for anything that might be in the ground, put that out, put the drill bit back in again, drill another couple of metres, test again. We've got to drill around the cabbage patches. <laughs> so we've got to be careful with the raspberries, we've got to be careful with the, the cabbages. And we had to relocate the beehives. And there was a concern that the drilling um, was going to create vibration which would upset the bees. But I think they're safely back in sconce now in the, in the gardens at Bell House. The quagmire that you see out the back there now in, let's say, a couple of months' time, when it's all re-established again, we'll be back to the, the kitchen garden that we know and love. So we've um, built a new plant onto the end of the house and been able to replace a rather poor 1940s brick shed with a building which is much better suited to the heritage of the house um, and also a little bit bigger to fit the equipment, the, the, the water tanks and the heat pump and so on. It is absolutely future-proofing. We've got a, an environmental problem, we've got a solution, electrical driven heat pumps, away we go.